Hey everyone, Michelle here from the Bray Homeschooling Mama. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, a little bit about myself. I am a teacher turned homeschool uh, mom and I have two kids, age 12 and 5. We're going to start 8th in uh, eighth and, you know, kindergarten. And I love to make homeschooling videos to encourage and motivate uh, homeschooling parents, especially new, new homeschooling parents to give them some encouragement and motivation. So today I have two videos, I want to sh uh, two books I want to show you. Uh, these are the new Thinking Tree books that we're going to be using this school year. I am sure we will get some more as the year progresses, but these are the new ones that I have. So I'm going to show you I have Endangered Animals, 30 Verbs and Adjectives. And I have, I'm on three, 310 verbs and adjectives and homeschool, uh, homeschooling multiplication games, 100 Days of Art, Logic, and Fun. So I'm going to show you this one first. So this one is going to, I'm going to add it uh, in addition to our grammar. For grammar, like I said, we use our arrow guides and I have another uh, Daily Grams workbook, but I'm also going to add this to alternate between the uh, Daily Grams workbook and, and this, and I also have some grammar cards. So this is what the journal looks like, okay? So here you have getting started, okay? So the kid's going to read this, and right here, what's a noun? What's the verb, an adjective, and a pronoun? If they don't know, we're gonna make we're gonna have our kids look it up in a dictionary or look it up online. What all these words mean? Okay. So here we're gonna put their name, their favorite animal, their address, phone number if they want. And here's a list of spelling vocabulary and spelling words. So this is a list of verbs and a list of adjectives. Okay. So use this page to write and draw your your favorite verbs and draw your favorite adjectives. So this is all the lessons look the same. So they all the the activities are in alphabetical order. We're gonna start with the Arctic fox. So they have a poem. In the poem, they read it. They're gonna find their favorite verb in the poem, their favorite adjective. Then they're gonna color the picture. In here. Uh, they're going to pick two different colors, color all the verbs in one color, and the adjectives in a different color. Here they trace the animal. Then they have the same poem, and they're going to use the poem from before, and they're going to fill in the blanks. Then they're going to draw the Arctic fox in their habitat. Then they have a spelling time activity. They're going to choose five letters. Look in this book for five words and contain this letter. Okay, you're going to, I'm sorry, you're going to, they're going to choose a letter and then they're going to look through the book and find five words that have that letter. And then they have a little maze here. Again, they have this poem again and then they're going to copy it here. Okay. So you get tons of, of you know, the different skills working on in each uh, lesson in each section. So all of them are the same. So B, Birds of Paradise, and they do the same format for all of them. Okay. They're really cute, just cute, fast activities that they can do. This is really, really independent, I think. Uh, this, my daughter will be able to do this independently some extra practice and it's just fun, a little bit more fun than doing a, a different type of workbook, okay? We'll see true. So all of, the, all of them will be exactly the same format, okay? That's all the way to Zebra. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna show you is homeschooling multiplication game. So this one is to practice multiplication facts, okay? And so each one, we already started working on this one, uh, in each page for each day, they're gonna practice their multiplication fact and then they're gonna have a logic puzzle. All of them the same. Multiplication table, logic puzzle. Multiplication table, logic puzzle. So the more they practice the facts, they're gonna, hopefully, they will help them memorize them. Table, puzzle, okay? So this is how we're gonna go through the whole book. A lot of this, I like the dyslexia games. I haven't done any of those games, so I don't know exactly, you know, I, I'm looking at this, you know, logic puzzles, and they supposedly are very similar to the uh, dyslexia games um, puzzles, but I haven't looked at those, so I can't talk much about that. Okay, so like I said, table and a puzzle every day, logic puzzle. So this is basically, basically what it is, just like great practice. Okay, I'm just gonna flip through a couple more. 
So this is why, like, this two pages, why they'll be working on every day. Or one, whatever your student feels more comfortable working. So thank you so much. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Like I said, I already shared everything that I'm going to be using with my children, but I want to go ahead and show you the inside of all the war books and things in case you're interested, in case you're looking for something for your children. I, I, I enjoy making this type of videos. I want to help new homeschool parents be able to find in you know, a curriculum, make it easier for them to find in you know, a curriculum because there's so much out there. So this is why I make these videos and show you the inside just to help you make a decision and help you out a little bit more. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.